and foremost on his to-do list, isn't it, Teddy? Yeah, I would say so. You ever oh, see you that commercial this. where the guy says, how do you spell relief? Sure. Well, it's kind of like, how do you spell victory in this fight? J-A-B. That's Watch exactly the, the way you go. That's what he wants. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Ali's impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Finish right to the, the belt hook. line. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. So right from the start in this fight, he's Let's committed to the body shot. Well, that's the time to go there, right at the beginning, because body work pays off for you later in the fight. No sense in wasting time. Get right to it. Halfway through round number one. It's a mighty list of power punchers that Muhammad Ali has continually faced. You got Joe Frazier on there. You got George Foreman on there. And tonight, now this power puncher opposite him. Well, you have two problems with that power. Two of them with your face, Ali. One is, how do you land it? You have to find the perfect spot. Maybe catch him, pull him back with his hands down. You know, maybe time him as he's throwing a jab. But it's very difficult to do. And then the second problem, you have a guy that you're hitting that has a great chin. Unable to score with the hook. Lewis's right hand scores well. Keep going! And now he scores with that left to the body. Last 10 seconds. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. Lewis's attitude of being effective and aggressive worked out well. His opponent is damaged. And he just holds on there. One guy coming forward, another guy on the outside looking to take advantage of that forward motion. We count down the final moments of this round. Nice combination by Muhammad Ali. And we come to the end of the round. Ali's last round to me, Teddy, completely ineffective. His accuracy way off the mark, throwing punches, but lost the round. Joe, talking about being off the mark, if you're traveling outside, you're lost. You need a map to find your way. He needs a map right now to find his way. He needs some direction. Yeah, you wonder if he's got a car waiting out. 
outside. Is that folks? You see him holding on. Good right hand by Lewis. change. If he can't get away from those punches, if he keeps having problems, he gets stunned again, then you might have to look for a change. You might have to make a change if you're going to survive. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. Ali's not showing that he's got a great IQ when it comes to ring generalship here. He's just stationary. Not much movement at all. No, not at all. And it's feeding right into his opponent. He knows where to find them and where to find them at all times. He needs to get on those legs a little bit and start changing a little bit of his placement here where he is. He's always in the same place.
Harris's defense is going to need to shine when he gets back out there. I mean, just look at the close-up of that cut we're seeing. Yeah, he's got to use his legs. You're right, Joe. He's got to get out there and buy some time for those medicines to work. Ali's got a cut. It looks like it's below the eye on the cheek, but it's something that needs to be monitored. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then lay in the counter. And that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the okay. end of the punch is. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Halfway through round six. Doubling up the jab by Muhammad Ali. Don't Scored well with that right kid. hand to the body. Ali's got to deal with a cut on his cheek right now. The good news is it's below the eye, but still, it can get nasty as the fight progresses. A hammering hook by Lewis. Just misses with that headshot. Final 10 seconds of the sixth round. Lewis's corner can do nothing but just applaud him as he returns to the school. Yet another round where he put forth more and more punishment to his opponent. Yeah, well, they're applauding him and they should thank his opponents for doing an imitation of a heavy bank. Yeah.